welcome to Akshu's kitchen. Today we will see how to prepare mushroom masala for which we need the following ingredients to serve to people. 200 grams of white mushroom, 2 small onions, 2 medium sized tomatoes, 3 cloves of garlic and 1 small piece of ginger. 3 to 4 whole green cardamoms, 5 to 6 whole cloves, some small pieces of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of whole fennel seeds, half a teaspoon of chili powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, quarter teaspoon of garam masala and quarter teaspoon of uh, jeera powder that is cumin powder, some freshly chopped coriander leaves and 3 4 teaspoon of salt. First I have chopped the onions, tomatoes and mushroom into small pieces and I have ground the ginger and garlic into a fine paste. I am adding about 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil in the pan and I am adding the whole spices to it and when it starts to crackle I am adding the chopped onions and frying it for about 2 to 3 minutes until it becomes a light brown color and then I am adding the ground ginger and garlic paste and frying it for a minute until all the moisture is absorbed and then I am adding the chopped tomatoes and fry for another 2 to 3 minutes until the tomatoes become pulpy and then it's time to add the spice powders I am adding all the spice powders and mixing it well along with the onions and tomatoes and when it is mixed well I am adding the chopped mushrooms to it when you cook mushrooms they usually shed some moisture out of it and the moisture the water they shed out is enough for the mushroom to get cooked so allow the mushroom to get cooked in its own water content and you will get the mushrooms cooked very soft and you can see the moisture there so when the mushrooms turn tender and soft it's time to add the salt the chopped coriander leaves and mix everything well together and if you want it in a gravy or curry form you can add about half a cup of water to it and allow it to come to a boil and when it comes to boil mushroom masala or mushroom curry is ready it is a very good companion for rotis, puris, naans, everything thank you for watching Akshu's kitchen